Without a doubt, Thailand has some of the world's best noodle suits, and I'm gonna show you my top picks right here in Bangkok. Nice. Tom Yum noodle soup, it's spicy, it's like tangy, it's one of my favorites, all time favorites. You will not get this noodle soup outside of Thailand, which is why when I'm here, I'm always eating it. That flavor, oh my goodness, yum, so good. Outside of Thailand, you think of Tom Yum, you think of like that creamy prawn kind of soup. This is completely different, in fact, but the point about this soup, it's tangy, spicy, and then has like a little bit of like a sprinkle of roasted peanuts. So you get that like peanutty, creamy kind of thing going on. For me, it's like the ultimate noodle soup. Unless you're actually in Thailand, you're probably never going to be able to taste this soup. Yenta Pho is a very unique Thai soup. The pink colour comes from fermented tofu. You get crispy wontons. The thing I love about this soup is the really unique flavour you get from that tofu. It makes it really rich and savoury and just slightly a little bit tart as well. And there's always unidentified meats. Holly keeps asking me what things are and I'm like, please don't ask me what that is. <laughs> Better not to know. It's really delicious. This is Gui Di Nam So. It's a very specific style of noodle soup. It has a dark broth and I've ordered mine with like pig's blood in it. And I've ordered mine with like pig's blood in it. Okay, sounds weird, but it's really delicious. Makes it thick and like very rich. All your other little bits and pieces here. This is a beef version. So you've got beef balls, you've got beef offal. I mean, I like it, but it might not be for everyone. And egg noodles. It's very rich and very savory. It's like the ultimate kind of like really comforting, slow braised beef kind of soup. Mm. So here we have a noodle dish that you've probably never heard of before. This is called Gui Chap, and the noodle itself is a rolled rice noodle. The soup itself is really thick. Oh, it's like porky and rich, very peppery. Mm. And the noodles are, it's a bit of a slimy noodle, very porky, but I kind of like it. Now this is interesting because we've already had a tom yum noodle soup, but of course it was a clear soup. This one is probably more similar to the tom yum you might get at your local Thai restaurant. Oh, it's like tangy and limey. And then you have evaporated milk, which is what actually makes it creamy. <coughs> it's really spicy. Mmm, <laughs> it's actually a really good version of it. Nice. So this one looks really special, right? Because what we have are green noodles or jade noodles called bummy yok. So this is bummy yok mudang and mukrop. So red pork, crispy pork. What's really nice about this soup is it's very clean. Like the broth is clear. And then you have that really lovely kind of red pork contrasting with the green noodle. Hmm. It's really good. So one of your more kind of iconic Thai noodle soups is going to be an egg noodle with some sort of protein and a wonton. So in this case, I've got a special one because this is Gyo Pu, which is a crab dumpling. Really good. Yum, that crab is great. The broth is lovely and clear. <laughs> a little salty. And then egg noodles. These are called bummy in Thai. These big chunks of crab. Nice. Oh, Dax, you got to get yourself a bowl of this. <laughs> it's really good. 
another one of Thailand's most iconic noodle soups is khao soy. Now this is actually a soup from the north of Thailand, so it's a little unusual to find it in Bangkok. I gotta say, this looks like a particularly good one. You always wanna have the crunchy noodle on the top, the broth is quite creamy, and then these really soft egg noodles. Now the way you do this is a particular way. You gotta get pickled mustard greens, shallots, squeeze of lime. Now this is going to be one delightful mouthful. Mm. With cow soy, it's like, it's a textural plus like flavor explosion. Crunchy, soft with the noodle, and then the broth is like really creamy with coconutty. So good. <laughs>